Well, after three months and 12 messages, we are finally reaching the end of a series on Abraham. And in celebration of that, I'm going to give you a little quiz today. Okay, now the Bible quiz was all went over Abraham last spring. So why can't, why can't some of the listeners have a little quiz every day? And there will be prizes for those enthusiastic enough to, to holler out an answer. But I'm going to take you all the way back now for you visitors who may be just getting here. There, there is some common knowledge stuff, but then there's also some sermon stuff that only people who was here are actually going to know about. So uh, the prize will go to the person who hollers out and the one that I see first, okay? I'm not even going to attempt to be fair with this, but enthusiasm will count. So I want to know, uh, that was three months ago when we first started. Does anybody know how old Abraham was when he started to follow God in faith? Chapter 12, verse 4. Close, but no, get a hundred. I'm not going to give you cigars, people. I'll give you a bit of honey. 125. The bid is going in the wrong way. He was not 90. 75. I heard 75 almost simultaneously from Brad Miller and from Aaron Mass. They were 75. Who was the priest and king who brought bread and wine in chapter 14, verse 18? Two. Melchizedek. Who, who said that was Eric Hamster. Oh, sorry. I'm going to come closer. I'm going to come closer for the next row. Uh, what was Abraham to count in chapter 15, verse 5? The stars. Who said the stars? Was that? Who said that? I couldn't hear you. Who's going to get better? Who's going to get something? Was it Ruth? See, now you know when you say Ruth, there's eight, eight Ruths in this church. Statistically, it's very possible that it was Ruth. Uh, what does Ishmael mean? Ishmael does not mean left. Ishmael chapter 16, verse 15. I stood here. What? Is it wasn't Sharon? No. Who, who, who said God hears? Monica. You just don't hear her. Well, I, I, I thought I saw Shannon's lips moving and I heard the sound and it was kind of crazy. Um, what was the last number of righteous people Abraham asked the Lord for so as not to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Yeah. Who said 10 first? I said, did I hear 10 right here? I don't throw stuff at visitors. But if you're a regular here, you get stuff with you all the time. Um, where approximately is the city of Sodom and Gomorrah located today? Who said Dead Sea real loud? Well, I'll let you, you know, if there are people getting two prizes, I'm not even trying to be fair, so just pass it back. No attempt at it. Um, what did Lot's son in laws think Abe, or Lot's? Prediction of Sodom and Gomorrah's destruction was? What did his son in laws think it was? Okay. Ooh, this is tough. Who said Joe? I'm going to give it to your cousin. Because you've got enough candy. I'll get you all shirt up right this time. Who knows what will happen? We're rapidly coming to the end of the series. This is so ironic because he's sitting here. Why did Chris Mass refuse? Why did Chris Mass not refuse to preach on fear? Do I remember? He was afraid to be an example. Is that Emma? Is that Emma? Thanks, Emma. That's right, he was afraid I would use him as an example of fear. So he preached. This is a trick question. Who probably didn't laugh when Isaac was born? Sarah. Sarah laughed like crazy. Who probably didn't laugh? Hagar. That was Geneva. And don't say Geneva either because there's like three or four Genevas in here too. Good stuff. Uh, what city grew up later on Mount Moriah? Remember? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Oh my goodness. Was that Josh? 